Travers has no problem showing off her scars. Yeah, this is the knee that I had replaced in 2013. Before that replacement, she was in constant pain. If I kept going the way I was, I couldn't, probably couldn't keep working. I couldn't go from point A to point B. I couldn't be driving. Um, it, it's, it was really ruining my life. She says her knee replacement changed that. She could finally walk without pain. Six months later, Cheryl had her well, left hip replaced. Because she's a bit of a bionic woman. She's had both knees and both hips replaced. Earlier this year, Mercy Medical Center's Dr. Kamala Littleton did the right hip, and more recently, the left knee. There are, there are a lot of things people come in, and maybe they've talked to other doctors or they've talked to their friends, and so they've got a real uh, preconception of, of what a joint replacement's about. Cheryl may seem young to have had four joint replacements. Well, I try and treat the patients like I would be. I mean, and, and so we really have embraced doing joint replacements quicker when you've got the limitations in the pain. Dr. Littleton says she often hears people say they're too young or too old to have the procedure. So there is nothing too young. And as far as being older, if you're a very, very healthy, active person in their 80s, there's just no reason why you wouldn't have the joint replacement. She hears a lot of concerns about pain. You know, the pain is different for every person. You know, some people just jump right up. And the same can be said for recovery time. Cheryl Travers is one of those patients who was up and walking soon after surgery. She's now easing back into things that she was able to do before. She says the scars are worth it and her family agrees. They want their mom up and walking and doing the best they can and having the lifestyle that we have. So they're used to that and that's what we want to continue.